Did you kill her? Mother, stop it. I'm just trying to help you, kiddo. This season, Norman becomes that guy that you see in Psycho. We're finally seeing Norman crack. We're seeing the Norman Bates that maybe people are more familiar with starting to emerge. For perhaps the first time in, in the whole series, we start to see Norman moving towards the endpoint that we know, and more and more of him reminds us of Psycho the film as opposed to the little boy, really, that we encountered at the start of season one. The part of him that is not aware of what he's doing is very much the same person that he was in season one. I think he's become more conscious that there's a part of him he doesn't understand and that's a mystery to him. I'll sit with you while you have your lunch, sweetheart. He is having a harder time separating reality from his hallucinations. All of those things are converging on him. Norman is trying to be a good guy, but he is fighting his demons and he's kind of losing the war and he's becoming less and less able to control his descent into the kind of the other Norman Bates, the one who's capable of doing bad things to people. Norman! And Norman finds it increasingly hard to distinguish between this figure of Mother Norma that appears to him in these visions and Norma, his real mother. I think that you had a blackout this morning, sweetheart. We know the end game here. We know that psychosis is the end game. It's going to reach a point where he no longer can distinguish a hallucination from reality. I need to tell you something, Mother. There's a new emotion that she's experiencing, which is a genuine terror. She is starting to be afraid Mother! of his, his obvious <laughs> homicidal tendencies. You know, hopefully the audience has really come to love Norman and really feels the tragedy of his slipping into madness. And I was hoping against hope that Norman won't become the guy that we know from the movie.